Hello guys! Welcome back! I'm Jade Nuno, your ALS Mobile Teacher from City of San Jose del Monte. At welcome na naman sa another lesson sa Learning Strand 6, Digital Citizenship. Pretest na ito ay may title na Kung nasagotan mo na ang ating pretest, tara na! Simulan mo natin ang lesson natin for today. Good day again! So now, after discussing a lot of things last time today where we will have another lesson but first let us take a review okay i'm ready so what we discussed yesterday are the different parts of a computer mostly for the first one is hardwares and softwares we also discussed the basic parts of the computers, which is the guy examples, computer case, keyboard, and also have the different parts of the computer case. Yeah. So I have the other parts of the computer. And, and the software is too. Yeah. So marami tayong din discuss last time. So ngayon may idea na kayo kung ano yung mga parts ng computers. But now, what we will discuss in this lesson, which is LS6, lesson 5, is how to operate a computer. Ngayon, alam nyo na, yung basic parts ng computer, ang gagawin naman natin ay tuturuan natin kayo paano i-operate o paganahin ang isang desktop. Okay, I'm ready. As basic as possible, of course. Yeah. So the first thing to do is to set up the desktop computer. The very first one, syempre, is to unpack the monitor and the computer case from the box. Tanggalin mo muna sa box yung binili mong monitor and computer case. Yeah. Remove any plastic covering. Yeah. Bakit? It may uh, damage your computer. And... Place the monitor and computer case on a desk or work area. Spacious work area. Huwag yung masikip. And reminder. Ayan yan, sabi mo kanina. Place your computer case in an area that is well ventilated. So may maayos na ventilation and good air flow. Bakit? Kasi kapag masikip, at mainit yung lugar na pinaglalagyan mo ng iyong device, pwede ito mag-overheat. And ang main nakalaban ng computer sa pagkasira, isa dito ay ang pag-overheat. Okay, locate the monitor cable. Sabi ko last time, pwede mong paganahin yung computer na meron kang Ah, nawala kang monitor. But, hindi mo may kita kung ano yung nakalagay doon. So, it is important na meron kang uh, monitor. So, what is the cord that connects the monitor into the computer? It is the monitor cable. So, kadalasan yung itsura ng port ng monitor. Ayan. Kung hindi mo makita yung monitor cable at iba yung itsura, mag-refer ka always sa instruction manual ng iyong computer. Next, connect mo yung monitor port mo sa computer case. Kadalasan, yung computer case, 
yung port sa computer case ay nasa likod ng monitor port. Ayan. Ayan. Note, many computer cables will only fit a specific way. Pwedeng uh, may shape siya na kailangan mo i-connect sa ganong paraan. At never, never mo i-force na i-connect yung cable. Kasi masisira yung cable mo. And isa sa mga pinakamahal na bilhin ay yung cables ng isang device. And next, unpack the keyboard. And tingnan mo muna kung USB or PS2 yun. So, but most likely kasi sa panahon natin yun, uh, ano na eh, USB ports na yung keyboards and mouse. And i-connect mo ulit siya. Pag PS2 connector yan, doon sa purple na uh, keyboard. And nakikita nyo yun, nakikita nyo yung mouse ko, nakatutok ako doon sa PS2, yung purple na port sa iba ba. Step 5. Patapos mo ikabit yung keyboard, ikabit mo naman yung mouse. Ganun din. Kapa, pero kapag uh, hindi USB, pag USB, lagay mo sa USB port. Kapag hindi USB, meron kagaya nung na, na ganito. Sa so, yung, 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 yung clicker ko. Ito. Meron ganito, pero kulay green siya. PS2 connector yun for the mouse. So next. Note. If your computer has a USB port, if your keyboard has a USB port, you can connect your mouse to the keyboard. Pero hindi naman lahat ng keyboard may ganun. Pag wireless siya, maglagay ka ng dongle, a USB adapter for Bluetooth para makonect yung yung mouse. Ayan. Kung meron ka external speakers and headphones, pwede mo siya i-connect sa audio ports. Ano yung audio ports? Ito. Ayan. Ayan yung audio port. Meron din sa unahan na sa front ng computer na audio port. So either way, kung saan ka mas komportable, doon mo siya ikabit. Ayan. Kapag USB connector naman, sa so USB connector mo siya ikabit. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng uh, speakers, microphones, or headphones ay sa uh, audio port kinakabit. Kasi yung iba, sabi nga, USB, universal serial, bus, universal na siya. And doon siya ay kinakabit na. Kumbaga, all-in-one. Ayan, all-in-one na siya. Step 7. Locate the power supply that came with your computer. Kung wala, pwede ka namang bumili ng mga extensions sa kagaya niyan na may surge protector. Ayan, okay. So, connect the power supply dun sa computer mo din. Uh, Yun na, yun na, connect mo yun, monitor, so surge monitor and yung computer mo, surge protector. You can also use an uninterruptible power supply. Surge protector din siya and temporary power if there's a power outage. Yan. Yan na wala ng kuryente, hindi ka agad-agad mag-shutdown yung iyong computer. Finally, plug the surge protector into the wall outlet. Ayan. Ang pinakamagandang surge protector always is yung may power switch. Ayan. Laging may power switch ang pinaka the best option para may connect mo yung computer. If you don't have a surge protector, pwede mong i-plug directly yung computer mo. But, hindi ito recommended. At maaari itong makasira sa iyong computer kapag hindi direct mo sa wall outlet. So kung may computer ka o to nababala ka bumili ng computer, bumili ka ng surge protector. Huwag mong ilalagay directly yung computer mo sa wall outlet. Sasaksak mo siya diretso. Pwede mong mag-cause yun pagka sira. Step 9. Optional to. Kung meron kang peripherals like printer, scanner, webcams, uh, pwede, mo na, pwede mo na siyang ikabit at i-connect. Peripherals kasi plug and play siya. Plug and play which means they are recognized by your computer as soon as plinag or isinaksak mo siya. Ayan. As long as naka-on, syempre. May peripherals na kailangan ng software para mapagana. Pero minsan kasi automatic na yun. Meron naman, kailangan mo mag-install muna ng iyong uh, software para mapagana. For example, sa printers, may mga ganyang cases. Ayan. Gaya na yung example sa picture, printer yan. 
So getting started with your first computer. The very first step sa pagpapagalan ng computer, of course, sa very first step sa pagpapagana ng iyong computer is of course, ay turn on. Buksan mo muna. To do this, locate and press the power button. Ano pa yung power button? So makikita nyo yung symbol sa screen. Ayan yung symbol ng power button. Pag power button at hindi nyo makita, ayan yung hahanapin yung symbol. Ibig sabihin, yun yung pindutan para magbukas yung computer nyo. Once turn on, your computer takes time before it's ready to use. Ayan. Ang tawag dun sa proseso na yun ay booting up. So, magbo-boot up muna yung computer mo. May iba-ibang display na magpapakita sa screen. Bago ito, magbukas talaga at bago ang mga gamit. Ayan. Next, turning on the computer. Once the computer has booted up, you may be ready to use or it may require you to log in. Kunyari, may password yung computer mo. Siyempre, uh, type mo yung password mo. Ayan. Of course, kung account mo. Kung hindi mo account, manghingi ka ng permiso doon sa may-ari no account. Next, the keyboard and mouse. You interact with the computer mainly using keyboard and mouse or trackpad on laptops. Ayan. Isa mga importante, syempre, na matutunan ay paggamit ng keyboard and mouse. Ayan. Kadalasan, ano, kadalasan yung keyboard ay nasa tapat directly ng iyong monitor. Ayan. And yung mouse ay sa nasa tabi ng keyboard. Depende kung ano yung dominant hand mo. Or kung kaliwete ka or mas uh, reliant ka sa kanan mo. Ayan, the keyboard and mouse. The mouse controls the pointer. Ayan, ito, ito yung pointer. Ayan, yung malikot na yan. Siya si pointer. The mouse controls the pointer. Ayan, kung saan mo igagalaw yung si mouse mo, doon pupunta si pointer. Ayan. May dalawang buttons yan. Usually, yung pinaka-common na mouse. Left and right button. Kaya may left and right click, di ba? Ayan. We'll often interact with the computer by moving the mouse pointer over something on the sc computer screen, then clicking one of the buttons. Ayan. Sa laptops, pwede kang gamit ng trackpad. Trackpad. Ayan. Drag your finger across the trap trackpad to move the pointer sa screen. Ayan. Keyboard allows you to type letters, numbers, and words in the computer. Whenever you see a flashing vertical line, ayan, ayan. Ayan, itong flashing vertical line na to, called the cursor, ibig sabihin, pwede ka nang mag-type. So anything na mag-type ka kapag nakita mo na yan, ibig sabihin, pwede ka nang mag-type. The keyboard cursor is also called the insertion point. Insertion point or cursor. Pinaka-base example niya kapag gaya nito, nasa Google siya. Or kagaya na nasa Microsoft Word kayo. Pwede siyang try. Next, using a computer. The main screen you'll start from is the desktop. Ayan. So ito yung desktop. Main menu or table of contents ng computer mo. Yung programs na most commonly used, yung mga files na nasa-save mo sa desktop mo, doon mo siya may kita sa desktop. Ayan. Kung maminsan magagawa, magagawi kayo sa mga computer shop, di ba, ang dami-dami naman ng desktop kasi ang dami-dami games. It's up to you kung paano may modify yung desktop mo actually. Ayan. Icons. Icons are used to represent the different files, applications, and commands on your computer. Ayan. Ito yung icons. Ayan. Mga icons yan. Depende ka anong klase ng file or applications yung meron na yan. Button is a command that performs a specific function within an application. The most commonly used commands in program will be represented by buttons. Kapag nagbukas ka, kunyari, ng Microsoft Word, yan, may mga pipindutin doon. Ang tawag doon ay buttons. Same with Excel or kung ano pang applications na iyong binuksan. Menus naman, kapag pinagsama-sama mo yung commands and shortcuts, tawag doon ay menu. So, para it's for organizing the different buttons sa pipintutin mo. Para hindi ka malito. For example, uh, all of these buttons are for uh, modifying the font, the font size, the font color, etc. Regarding sa font. So, most of them are 
uh, combined in a single menu para hindi ka malito kung saan-saan. Okay, next. Because when you open an application or a folder, it is displayed in its own window. A window is a contained area. Ayan. Pag nagbubukas ka ng isang application or folder, meron yung window. Ayan. May meron siya, kumbaga, sa, in a sense, ang tawag mas commonly known siya as tab. Ayan. It's picture within a picture with its own specific menus and buttons. Ayan. Kaya minsan, pag marami, the best example, kapag bubukas ka ng Google, narin, bunok sa may sampung Google, sampung window din ng Google yung magbubukas. Next. Ayan. Most PCs and Macs use a graphical user interface or GUI. Yeah. So, yun yung itsura ng desktop nila. Ayan. Mostly, magkaiba yun sa PC at sa Mac. Pero ang didiscuss natin, yung sa PC, yeah. getting to know your computer OS na pala tayo. Yeah. Sa PC, kasi PC naman yung madalas na ginagamit natin. Yeah. Yung graphical user interface ng PC. Para mas maintindihan nyo yung OS, operating system ng computer nyo. First is the recycle bin. Ayan. Recycle bin. When you delete a file, mapupunta siya sa recycle bin. Madidelete ba siya agad? Hindi. Madidelete lang siya kapag inalish mo siya mismo sa recycle bin. Ayan. Next, the desktop. Main workspace. So itong buong screen na to, ang tawag sa kanya ay desktop. Pwede mo siya lagyan ng background, pwede mo siya lagyan ng wallpaper. Paper. O, pwede mo i-arrange yung icons. Depende na sa'yo. Items on the desktop. So, ayan. Yung mga folders. At yung kung ano-ano pang nakalagay dyan. Ang tawag dyan ay items on the desktops. Or yung icons. Open folders. When you pag nag-double click ka sa isang folder, uh, magbubukas ito sa isang window ng tawag ay File Explorer. Para mabuksan mo yung folder na pinaklinik mo. Ayan. Next, start button. In most versions of Windows, you click the start button to open the start menu. Ayan. So, ito yung uh, um, universal button uh, para sa start menu ng iyong OS. Siya yan. Diyan mo rin may kita minsan yung ibang apps. Eh. Minsan yung mga apps na wala sa desktop, nakatago dyan. Next, shortcuts on the taskbar. Pwede kang maglagay ng shortcuts dyan sa baba, dito, para mas madali mong maklik at mas madali mo siyang makita. Or, for example, ayaw mong maklutter or ayaw mong magulo yung desktop mo, eh, ilagay mo siya sa baba. Dito, sa taskbar. Next. Ayan. Date and time settings. Ayan. Pwede mo rin i-edit yung date and time. Ayan. May shortcuts din sa internet, sa volume, and other stuff. Yeah. So, we now have up to open your computer's file system. Okay. To open your computer file system, merong folder naman yung sa gilid to open your system. So, it will connect you to this PC. This PC, ayan, may kita ninyo. So first, basic navigation. Ayan. May iba't ibang uh, default folders si Microsoft, uh, si Windows. Ayan. May desktop, which connects to the desktop. Com documents, downloads, para sa mga din na downloads mo. Movies for videos, music, and pictures. So mga default na uh, folders na siya, na nasa OS mo. Then, doon din recycle bin for deleting files. So basically, yung gagawin mo na lang pag deleting files, click the icon of the document or certain uh, kung ano man yung gusto mong i-delete, then click the delete button or, or simply right drag delete. the item to the recycle bin. Ayan. And to uh, empty the recycle bin, simply right click the recycle bin then pindutin mo yung empty the recycle bin make sure na wala ka nang kailangan dun sa mga recy sa recycle bin mo kasi kapag in-empty mo yan hindi mo na siya ma-retrieve so to open files and applications ayan so may different different file types depending sa kung anong klaseng file siya and madalas pwede mo siyang i-arrange na magsama-sama sila ayan. 
Paano mo siya ma-open? Simply hover, open punta ka doon sa file na gusto mong i-open. Then double click mo siya and magbubukas na yan. Or pwedeng right click, then choose open. Next. Doon sa Windows, ayan, kita ba? Ayan, malabas. Ayan. Pag pinindot mo yung Windows button, yung apak na box, mabupunta ka sa Windows, sa Start, bo start button. Ayan. May kita mo lahat ng apps. Ayan. It's a lower, ano kasi ito, lower version to ng Windows. Pero dito, ito yung pinaka-latest. May kita nyo, lahat ng apps na meron ka, may kita mo dyan. Sa Windows 10, Ayan. Minsan kasi, at minsan naman, kailangan mo i-adjust yung settings mo. So basically, what you will do is to go to Windows, click the start button, ayan, and click the settings. So dito, yun yung settings niya. Ayan. So Windows 8.1 naman, or mas early versions pa, control panel. Ayan. To shut down Windows, paano pa siya papatayin? Ayan. Select shut down. Pag sa 8.1 pa baba, ayan, shut down, mag-shut down yung computer mo. Dito naman, pinito mo yung button ng power and then may option para mag-shut down. Ayan. So next, so last. Keeping your computer physically clean. So ano ba yung mga kailangan natin gawin para malinis ang computer mo? First one, clean the keyboard. Siyempre, kailangan mo linisin yung keyboard. Ayan, unplug the keyboard. Ayan. First thing first is to unplug the keyboard. Ayan. Unplug mo yung keyboard. Or most likely, kapag maglilinis ka ng computer mo, unplug mo muna at patayin mo muna yung computer mo. Ayan. Turn the keyboard upside down and gently shake it to remove dirt and dust. Huwag yung shake na ano, para maaalog na masyado. Dahan-dahan lang na mag-shake para ma-remove yung mga Uh, alikabok sa surface niya. Then, use a can of compressed air to clean between the keys. Ayan. May mabibili niya yung compressed air para malinis mo yung keyboard mo. Then next, moisten a cotton cloth or paper towel with rubbing alcohol. Moisten lang ha, huwag basain ang gusto. Ayan. And, gamitin nito para punasan yung ibabaw ng key. Huwag mong bubuhusan ng alcohol o liquid yung iyong keyboard. Mas sira yan. Ayan. Reconnect the keyboard to the computer kapag tuyo na. If you're connecting the PS2, we need to connect it before turning on the computer. So yan sa keyboard, basic lang. Punas-punas lang. Dealing with liquids. Ayan. Kapag ikaw ay may natapunan mo ng liquid, yung keyboard mo, ang pinakaunang gagawin mo, patahin mo yung computer mo and disconnect the keyboard. Tandaan mo, electrical device yung ginagamit mo. Turn the keyboard upside down, balik na rin mo siya, and allow mo yung liquid na uh, maalis. Ayan. Kung sticky yung liquid, hold the keyboard on the side under running water to rinse away the sticky liquid. Ayan. Tapos, it's in for two days. Pero kapag hindi na naayos, syempre, bilhin ka na ng bago. Next, cleaning the mouse. Then, meron dalawang klase ng mouse, which is the optical and mechanical. Each is cleaned basically the same way, although the mechanical mouse requires a bit much work. Para sa optical mouse, hindi mo na kailangan linisin yung loob kasi wala naman siyang parts na nagro-rotate o naikot. Pero pwede siya maging sticky at pwede siyang maging maalikabok. Ayan. Sa mechanical mouse naman, mas parami siyang dust kasi... Uh, rotation siya. Mayroon na yung bola diba sa likod na rotate siya. Yan. Malalaman mo naman na kailangan mo nang release yung mechanical mouse kapag hindi mo na siya magalaw na maayos. Siyempre, unplug mo muna then mag-moisten ka ng cloth with alcohol para punasan to. Kapag mechanical mouse, tanggalin mo yung tracking ball o yung bola sa ilalim. Ayan. Then punasan mo ito. Then, the usual thing, patuyuin mo yung parts bago mo assemble and reconnect it to the computer. Next, cleaning the monitor. The first thing that you need to do is to turn off your computer. Unplug, syempre, the monitor. Pag laptop, unplug the laptop. Use a soap 
clean moist tend with water to wipe the screen clean. Ayan. Soft clean cloth moisted with water. So malinaw na malinaw ah. Do not spray any liquids directly on the screen. Pwedeng masira yung internal components sa monitor mo kapag in-sprayan mo yan ng liquid. Next. Ano pa yung iba? Ang pinaka kalaban ng computer mo ay alikabo. Ayan. Use an anti-static cloth. May nabibili din yan to lightly dust your computer casing. Huwag ka gumamit ng solvents, nakaka-apekto sa computer mo, or furniture cleaners dahil wala rin itong epekto. Ang pinakamaganda syempre is use a can of compressed air to blow out yung mga dumi sa computer mo. Ammonia diluted with water or glass cleaner ay isang solution para linisin yung surface ng yung computer. The milder the solution, the better. Clean the monitor housing and case by spraying a safe cleaning solution onto a paper towel or a anti-static cloth and wiping it downward motion. Bakit? Kasi mas malang pag is, sa isang direction lang yun, das, mas madali mo tong ma-collect at malinis. Yan. Keep it cool. Don't restrict airflow around your computer. Ayan. Kapag sa tingin mo walang airflow sa computer mo, palitan mo siya ng pwesto. Ayan. Huwag kang maglalagay ng papers, books, sa other items sa ibabaw ng iyong computer. Pwede yung makasira sa iyo. Makasira sa iyong computer. Ayan. So, ayun. So, yun yung mga tips in keeping your computer physically clean. So, for your activity, for your activity, Yeah. So if you have a computer or a laptop sa inyong bahay, try using the tips given in keeping your computer physically clean. Then picture yourself doing it. Then send the picture to Smart Alls and Modo account. Do sa Smart Alls account sa Smart Alls natin sa Edmodo. Pwede ka rin gumamit. Ay, pwede mo rin... Uh, gawin yung mga tips natin how to operate the computer picture yourself doing it and send it to smart asset so abangan nyo yung susunod nating uh, lesson uh, it will be lesson 6 and it's more likely ubusin muna natin lahat ng lessons natin sa computer before proceeding to Microsoft Word so, okay, so uh, bye and see you in our next Yes. Oh, well, before I forgot, please answer the post test. And the okay, post I'm test ready. para hindi kayo malito yan. So, good luck sa post test ninyo and that ends our lesson. Congratulations! Ngayon naman, alamin natin kung talaga bang natutunan mo ang lesson natin. Sagutan ang postes na ito na nandito natin sa SmartArts upang malaman natin kung ano ba ang natutunan mo sa lesson natin. Salamat!